Abdominal muscles posterior and anterolateral. Together these muscles comprise the abdominal wall. The abdomen's front and sides of anterolateral muscles consist. There are five of these muscles that we will need to list. Deep to superficial, these are transversus abdominis. Internal oblique rectus abdominis, external oblique pyramidalis. There's only one true posterior wall muscle quadratus lumborum. But four other muscles also join in on the fun. Iliacus, so as major, so as minor, the diaphragm. Now let's review each abdominal muscle with this diagram. There are two muscle groups on the anterolateral abdominal wall. Three flat muscles are lateral and two are vertical. Flat muscles stack on each other, their fibers go different ways. To strengthen the wall and to prevent herniation, yay! Here toward their medial aspect a transition begins Into aponeuroses which are broad and flat tendons The aponeuroses cover the rectus abdominis and they entwine To form the linea alba a prominent vertical line The transversus abdominis compresses your bowels Transversely running fibers granted these powers Next up is the internal oblique supramedially its fibers go to unilaterally ipsilaterally rotate the torso When contracting bilaterally it gives the abdomen a squeeze It's thinner than the external oblique so remember that please The most superficial flat muscle is the external oblique Its fibers run perpendicularly to the internal oblique Running from ribs 5 to 12 it contralaterally rotates the torso It inserts into the iliac crest and pubic tubercle so you know Vertical muscles include rectus abdominis and pyramidalis Six packs result from tendinous intersections across rectus abdominis Along your midline the linea alba splits rectus abdominis This muscle's lateral borders create linea semilunaris Inferior to rectus abdominis pyramidalis is known To attach to the linea alba and to the pubic bone Originating from the pubic symphysis and pubic crest This triangular muscle tenses linea alba on request The rectus sheath is formed by aponeuroses of the flat muscles 3 Enclosing rectus abdominis and pyramidalis C Now on to the posterior abdominal wall quadratus lumborum Iliacus OS major minor and the diaphragm quadratus lumborum's fibers run in a supramedial direction upon vertebrae it imposes extension and lateral flexion the psoas major is near the midline and it helps equip lateral flexion of the vertebrae and thigh flexion at the hip the psoas major originates from vertebrae t12 to a5 running inferior laterally till at the femur it arrives the psoas minor causes vertebral column flexion only half of people have this muscle on inspection Iliopsoas forms when iliacus and psoas major are combined Iliopsoas is a major thigh flex or keep that in mind It originates from the iliac fossa and the iliac spine Inserts on the femur once with psoas major it's combined The posterior of the diaphragm The muscle making each breath start Conduct through lumbar vertebrae and of the posterior abdomen is a part 